<laughs> Hello my lovelies, this is Sims Fowl and welcome to episode 10 of the Sims 4 Red Rose Challenge. When we left off in the last episode, we arrived at this place which is called the Twin Oracle Point something. It's a nightclub that isn't really a nightclub. And um, we had Alfred in not, what am I saying? In, what's the word? Jeez. Introduce himself. There we go. We had Alfred introduce himself to Lady Red Rose, but apparently he didn't. They were conversing, and this has happened before, guys. Sometimes she converses with the guys, but they don't actually introduce themselves. They have small talk. So it doesn't seem as though he is part of her relationship panel. Which I am totally okay with, but Lady Prudence is looking absolutely ravishing. However, she is kind of ravaged currently by the giggles. So, not looking too great with those stripes. I mean, she actually looks quite snazzy. She reminds me of, what is it, Avatar? I have no clue. Something like that. But, um, <laughs> we have Lord Leo also over here dancing away. And all the guys are in the room, most of them at least are, but they don't seem to be wanting to converse with Red Rose. So we'll have to see how that works. Oh, no, she knows Alfred. She knows Alfred. She knows Augustine. She knows Alfred. Um, who else is in this group? I think those are the only two males from Lord Leo's group. So damn. Oh, geez. I seriously hope she speaks to someone else uh, during this whole thing because she's the closest to Alfred right now. Huh, but we have the whole flipping. We'll have until 2 a.m. on... Monday, so we're okay. We're okay for now. Hopefully, uh, Alfred survives because Alfred's my favorite right now, guys. In Lord Leo's group, Alfred's my favorite, so I'm seriously hoping he does survive. But, um, okay, she's over here doing her own thing. Looks like she has completed her own little thing that she wanted to do. Lady Prudence still needs to, so I'm just gonna get her to sing to herself. Practice singing, that's gonna get their skill up. Um, I mean, that's going to get this event thing up, and then I'll get Lord Leo to practicing as well. Now, his hygiene is low, so we might have to find some place to get him all freshened up. And look at that. Wonderful. And Lady Prudence, what does she have? Oh, she's inspired to cook. Okay. Now, look at that. She is in a room with Malik, who did attend this time around, but he hasn't spoken to her or anything. So I'll have to see how that works out. She hasn't received any whims yet. She wants to do something romantic, but unless she specifies who with, I can't um, control her <laughs> and make her do any of those things. So that is completely up to the guys. They need to be more proactive, which they aren't really doing a good job of right now. <laughs> and okay, Lady Prudence, I'll tell you to stop just so she doesn't keep doing the same thing because I don't think they're going to if I let them on their own. Now is autonomy on? I swear it was. Yes it is. So they should be going around conversing, doing things on their own. Hopefully that is the case. Now that's one interesting thing. I thought they would speak to each other more. Now the one place where they have... oh 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 Alfred. Alfred why? Okay Alfred's chatting with her. Oh no. <laughs> Alfred, why? I'm so sad. Alfred! Oh, Darian's introducing himself, I think. Is he? Well, they are speaking. And Darian is one of the submissions you guys gave, so... Ha ha ha. He is the one with the daughter, so he has a younger daughter. And he has not introduced himself to her. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, Alfred, why would you do this, Alfred? You're breaking my heart. I had such high hopes for you. I thought he was going to last till the end, guys. But this just shows you cannot predict what's going to happen between these sims. You cannot predict. Because who knows when the hell they're going to introduce themselves to each other. I mean, even in Lady Prudence's group, we had... Um, was it Matthias? Yeah, no. Yeah, Matthias Mithras. Matthias kind of spoke in the last minute, and oh, did, has she, is she introduced to him? Um, no, she's not. See, that's funny. That does happen sometimes, where they go to introduce each themselves, but they don't end up doing that. And are they getting along well? Oh. Darian's considering Alfred, and I think Alfred's saying, I am from a very wealthy family. I 
you know, have fine taste in cuisine and whatnot, I don't think they'll be able to compete with me. I have all the luxuries that you don't, and a pedigree, mind you. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, the men are competing with each other. Lady Prudence, not Prudence, Lady Red is over here playing whatever this is, technology. She's interacting with technology. Okay. Is someone, is it me or is, no, they're okay. We might get Lord Leo to go freshen up somewhere. Um, otherwise, he's going to be a little bit cranky. Now, are these the male bathrooms? I think they are. We'll get him to wash his hands and brush his his pointed teeth. We need him to do that. Is Lady Red? No. Well, she's sitting down here and watching TV. Maybe someone will talk to her. Again, no whims. And if she doesn't have whims, I can't go ahead and make her do anything. And I don't want to keep crossing them out. I feel like that's kind of cheaty. Unless I should. Do you think, um, do you guys think I should cross out these whims and actually um, see if she gets any whims for the guys? I don't know. Should I be doing that? Or should I let her just do these whims? But the thing is, if I'm not cancelling these whims out, um... I'm not exactly completing them either because I can't control her um, for fear that it's going to cancel out an interaction she's having with someone else. So I don't know. Maybe I am going to do that from now on. I'll keep cancelling until they have... Lord Leo, yes, he freshened up. Maybe I should keep cancelling until she gets whims with one of the men. I don't know. Maybe we should. Um, look, see, she wants to kiss someone and everything, but she does hasn't specified anyone. She wants to hug someone, hasn't specified either. Yeah, I feel like she doesn't really have a lot of relationship with the guys, so I don't think she's going to have a whim to do with them. She will with her father, but not with anyone else. So I think that's kind of pointless at this stage. It's not going to, yeah, I don't think she's going to be having whims for the men right now because she doesn't really know a lot of them. So that kind of that kind of makes sense. Oh, I'm so distraught. Alfred is literally, literally, Alfred, Alfred Swain is about to, ah, he's the closest one to her right now, and that's giving me a little heart attack. I'm so upset. She just has to speak, just speak a little bit to someone else, even Augustine, and Alfred will be safe. Please, 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 please. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. This is the, um... I mean, to be honest, I feel bad for a lot of the bachelors who end up, you know... Like, I feel bad for Matthias, man. I feel bad for him. We thought he had a brilliant future ahead of him when he started flirting up with Lady Prudence. Apparently not. Apparently not. But Alfred... I mean, both the parents get along with him so well, too. Hmm. I'm so sad. His fate... His resign to his fate. In the last few hours of this outing, I mean... Is Darren going to speak to her? I highly doubt it. Is Frankie Mead going to speak to her? I highly doubt it because Frankie Mead has been doing everything the right way around. He's had some conversations with her, but he hasn't introduced himself to her. I think he's... Oh, 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 oh. Malik, she's chatting with Malik. Malik, where is he? Where the heck is Malik? Malik is coming up the stairs. Okay. But this is another thing. Just because they chat doesn't mean they're going to build a relationship. He has to introduce himself to her. Or she has to introduce herself to him. Otherwise, nothing's going to happen. So he has gotten himself a drink. He's settled down next to her. He is speaking to her. She doesn't know him yet, though. And they're going to remain strangers unless one of them introduces each other. <sighs> This is so stressful. Malik, you gonna introduce yourself? Look at her. She's, she looks very beautiful, by the way. And now, oh, she's gonna... Uh, oh, oh, oh! Oh, 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 they were getting flirty. Wait, whoa, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Lady Prudence! Ugh. Lady Prudence, what are you doing? She was, like, flirting with someone. Why would you intervene like that? Oh, goodness. She's gonna go hug her mother. Ugh. So frustrating. So flippin' frustrating. She was like, they were flirting it up on their own. And that's the first bachelor she's flirted with, I think. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. 
goodness gracious. Okay, she's going back up here to play. And all the bachelors are in this room over here. So she's not exactly going to be speaking with anyone. Uh, everyone's so, like, so caught up in this cooking channel. You have, like, a beautiful woman. And you are all caught up in, you, what, cooking? Jeez. Oh, these people. These men. Prudence is drinking, taking her drink upstairs. Okay. See, the guys haven't really gone, like, nobody's gone outside. Yeah, nobody's wanting to really spend time out in the bar. And it is nighttime, so if they wanted, they could even go to the rooftop. Doesn't seem like the rooftop bar's open right now. It seems like this bar is open downstairs. But nobody's wanting to go or do anything. Lord Leo's talking with Darian and some of the others and Alfred. Are you telling Alfred that you're so proud of him? I mean, they don't know that he's going to get rejected, but they're probably really proud of his progress. Ah, oh, Alfred, Alfred, Alfred. I feel so bad for you. So bad. Is Lady Bride an introvert? Is she is she alona? I don't think so. See, she's not alona. But she doesn't interact with anyone. She's not outgoing either, I'll grant her that. But at the same time, she doesn't really interact with anyone. Ah. We have like one hour before all of this is over. And I seriously don't think Alfred's going to be able to save himself in one hour. She's going back into this room. Let's see if anyone speaks to her. I don't think anyone will. Malik, are you going to try flooding again? I don't think anyone will. And right now, Alfred's the closest one to her in this group. She doesn't know anyone else. So it seems as though Alfred is the one who's going to... <sighs> He's going to get eliminated. Ah, I feel so sad. I'm hoping, but I really don't think anything's going to happen. I'm scared to fast forward this. <laughs> Just because Alfred's fate is going to come a lot quicker and I don't want it to. Ah, oh, this darn TV. I honestly thought they would actually socialize with each other more in this type of setting. But it seems as though they're not. And I think maybe it's because this place is just so huge. And they have all these other things they want to do entertainment wise. That they would rather do that than actually socialize with each other. I don't know. But that, that seems to be how things are going. That seems to be how things are going. Oh my goodness. We have like less than 10 minutes. It's not even going to happen. It's, I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm so upset. Okay, so just a quick count. We've got Darian, Frankie, Malik, Augustine, and Alfred. And guys, oh, the event is over. And I think we all know who is going to get eliminated. Unfortunately, it is going to be Alfred. I absolutely hate this, but it's going to be Alfred. He just had to jump in at the end of the last episode and talk it up with Lady Red when he was going so good in the first gathering that Lord Leo had. So good at the dinner party. But no, the club party absolutely broke him. <laughs> he, he thought it was now's the time to introduce himself. So unfortunately, it looks like Alfred's the one who's going to be eliminated. We are going to catch up. I think we need to tend to the needs of all of these lovelies. And then I will catch up with you guys at the residence of Alfred. When Lady Red reveals herself to him, claims his blood for her own, and then um, officially have a Lord Leo eliminate him from the group. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Uh -huh. Have I mentioned enough how sad I am? I am really, really upset. Really upset. Look at how nice his home is. And okay, yes, it's not a mansion, but it's really cute. Well, he's over here. He made some hot dogs, which is very nice of him. Uh, obviously, for himself to eat and maybe even to offer up to us. I don't know. But unfortunately, look at... They never even introduced themselves to each other properly. Oh my goodness. Well, now he knows her. 
She's gonna go ahead, waste absolutely no time in compelling him for a deep drink and revealing herself to him. Oh, I feel so bad for him. I feel so bad. Look at her. Blood red eyes, blood red hair. Oh no, Alfred! I had such good hopes for him. I had such hopes for him. Are you guys as sad as I am? Am I being too dramatic? I mean, I don't. I mean, I know I made a bunch of the other guys as well, but I don't care about them. <sighs> this was the only creation of mine that I was actually rooting for properly. <laughs> Oh, guys. And just like that, off he goes to the ground. Oh, goodness. Maybe we should grab a serving. Actually, is she a foodie? Yes, she is. We'll grab a serving of this hot dog. <laughs> we'll grab a serving and just eat that while he is lying there on the ground. Face first against the carpet. Yeah, we'll, we'll just sit in his kitchen eating his hot dog. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Th these flowers are very beautiful, by the way. Look at that. Doesn't she look like an angel? <laughs> She's a demon, but she looks like an absolute angel. <gasps> oh. Well, guys, I'll see you when we're back at the manor. Right, we're back at the manor, and I forgot to do one important thing when we were back with Alfred Swain. Um, we actually have to go and officially evict him from the group, or eliminate him. So let's go over here to the candidates. And we are going to get rid of Alfred. Ah, oh, my beautiful Alfred. Alfred's now gone, and we won't be re um, replacing any more members from now on. It's going to be elimination until last bachelor standing. So there we go, guys. There we go. We have points to open up a lot of these spots, but we are not going to. That is not how things are going to work. So I am not, I, I don't know if I should say I'm excited, guys. I mean, I'm excited we're making progress towards the final guy, but I'm also very sad. Okay, well, we also need to set up the next event. So I'm going to go ahead and just put down um, the date for the gathering, and then I'll deal with the holidays and stuff at some later point. But uh, I think we're going to need the family to debrief, spend some time with each other and see what they get up to. Right, so the next event we're going to have is going to be on Tuesday. Exciting. So this is going to be Lady Prudence's gathering. Lady Prudence's gathering. Wonderful. And I will just use this because that works, okay? We're going to have New Year's Eve. Spooky New Year's Eve. We'll have New Year's Eve. And I'll leave the traditions and stuff. I will put down a venue and then decide what we're going to do for Lady Prudence's gathering. And then I will adjust this holiday depending. So we have the date snagged down. And now I kind of want to go around grabbing some of their wants and seeing what we can do for these lovelies. They did go, oh, the parents went hunting after Lady Red came back or while she was gone, I think. So she has her thirst up and everyone has their thirst up actually, so they're in pretty good moods. Now, let's see, she wants to become focused. We can do that. I think if you play chess you become focused. She wants to buy an activity table, be friendly with little Leo. I'll do that, actually. Yeah, I'll do that. He wants to meet another vampire. Huh. Play in a leaf pile. Well, it is the morning and I don't want to send you to a leaf pile. So let's see what else we can get you to do. We already had a club gathering. What's this? Drink a glass of nectar. Oh geez. Well, he wants to do that. We can definitely arrange those. So I will get... Actually, they have a chess thing on the roof. But how can we get her focused without uh, playing chess? Hmm. Well, she needs to read a book. She's reading a book. Right. We don't have a microscope. Um, chess tables upstairs. You know what would be nice? If we could place some chess inside. That would be very, very nice. Now, I wonder, can we place chess in here? Nope, that's too tight a fit. Okay, that's fine. That's too tight. 
Is there anywhere else? Now, nobody uses a woodworking table, so I'm actually thinking that we should uh, not get rid of it, place the woodworking table outside. So, actually, no, place the woodworking table here. Because that, nope, never mind, doesn't fit, doesn't want to fit. Well, we'll leave it outside then, so that if people want, they can just come out here and do some woodworking. That's fine and well, but we should get another chess table, place it inside. So then the vampires can come and play if they want, in a safe, secure environment. Isn't that a great idea, guys? Are you impressed? Thank you, thank you. I tried. <laughs> okay, so I think we'll do... Does it look better at an angle or not? Huh. I leave it not at an angle. Yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave off here. I will definitely get them to do some of their whims when we come back in the next episode. Oh, look at that. This is so beautiful. But with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Also, my lovelies, just a quick reminder that I will be having a Q&A video soon, so if you guys have any questions about me, the channel, any of the series that I'm doing, will be doing, want to do in the future, or will not be doing for that matter, or anything else, then please leave them down in the comments below so I can add them to my list of questions to address during the video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all next time.